I've been in the grocery business since 1970, and I've come a long ways. I, uh, I was in the grocery business before there were scanners. That's how long I've been in the grocery business. And, I, and the grocery business has made a lot of changes in leaps and bounds. But the one thing that hasn't changed is uh, the buying habits um, of, the, of the Hispanic people. My name is uh, Jorge Gonzalez. I'm from Mexico actually in the state of Chihuahua. I was uh, re born and raised in Cuauhtémoc, Chihuahua. Uh, I came to the uh, United States in 2005 and I started working for liver supermarkets in the grocery business. Um, they, they made me an offer to come and work for them and they say, you're gonna work in a grocery store. And guess what? I didn't even know what the grocery <laughs> meant. So, but I was like, you know, it's an adventure, it's great. Uh, I like it, I'm just going to go for it. Um, we cater to that community, so if you go to every store that we have, so like I said, we have 17 stores, this is the most Hispanic store that we have. So you see in the, the atmosphere is great, you got the piñatas, you even have the Mexican flag here, as you can see, like serranos, white onions, and then tomatoes. So it's just, uh, we're just trying to, to mirror the community. So if the community goes with the Hispanic, we go with the Hispanic. If we go with a different mix, we try to go with a different mix. So you're, you're gonna see that once you come in here, we got the, the Mexican music, uh, sometimes we got the mariachi, <laughs> right? And, and it feels great. The, the atmosphere, the environment is, is very different than, than when you go to the competition. Why? Because as a, as a Hispanic, as a Latino, uh, sometimes you don't you don't know how to say things in, in English or ask questions, yeah. right? You don't Just feel at home. The, right? Yes, the communication so. piece is not there, so you're afraid to ask stuff, right, or the stuff that you that you need. But here you feel feel like home. Actually, it's very interesting because sometimes what we do is we see people taking pictures of the product that they haven't seen for years. Oh. Right? It's nostalgia, right? Yeah. So it's, it's just, they come here and they say like, oh my gosh, look at these cookies. I haven't had those cookies since I was a kid. <laughs> and then I, I seen people that they post the stuff on Facebook. It's like, I found them, you know? Save a Lab really started bringing this. Populares? And, uh -huh, populares. And are they are. And it's been years since I didn't see them. I didn't. When I was little in Mexico, they used to like, do some events on Christmas and they were really good and I haven't tasted them like in for years and when I saw them I really got I got happy because it brings out memories from my family so it was, it was like, <laughs> so it's like Sevilla is like a connection to your to Mexico it's a little piece of Mexico so yeah I can I, I can relate to because my my grandparents came from Mexico well, that's how we got uh, Dice cactus or, or nopalitos. Nopalitos is the, the new thing, right? It's super healthy. Everybody's eating it. Nopalitos con huevo. Nopalitos con huevo. Yeah, that's that's a perfect combination. Breakfast. And uh, one of the big ones here is uh, the papaya. Uh, lately, papaya is, is the the thing to do in the mornings, right? The shakes and, and uh, with yogurt, with everything. Yeah. So so smoothies. we provide yes, smoothies. So we provide our customers with everything that they need. Buy it. They'll buy it. Because especially first generation Hispanics, they don't believe in leftovers. They believe in cooking for that day. And that's why I see the same customers in here every day. They open our ad, the first thing they look at is produce and meat. Grocery secondary. And they do they they do buy a lot of groceries. When I say grocery, I mean center store. And the fruits and vegetables. They look at see how much the tomatillos are, how much the Roma tomatoes are, how much the avocados are, the onions, cilantro, cebolla, the green onions, all that. And then, wow, we're gonna go, you know, where they can get more bang for their buck. That is, you're not gonna find it um, very often. We got 80 feet of meat. Okay, look at this case. I mean, this, to be honest with you, this is hard to find in Mexico. You don't find it in Mexico anymore. So this is this is something great uh, that we are very proud of. Uh, we do a great business here. Uh, you can find 
Anything, so good. anything you want. Oh, uh, I feel like me. I like me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So any bit of uh, uh, it goes from seafood to beef to pork to chicken. Uh, we got some creams. We got we got everything that you need. We need. We have salsas. And the and the good thing here is, you know, we got real meat cutters. So everything that we do here, we got it, we cut it here. So this is this is the uh, arrachera. This is one of the most popular items here in Denver, Colorado. And as you can see how they cut it so, so thin. Uh, it's kind of like flat meat, which is uh, right now it's, we're killing it out there. It's $4.99 per pound. Uh, and this is this is the carne asada. When you talk about, oh, you know, we're going to have a carne asada, this is what we got. This is the uh, chuleta del siete as well. But this is one of the items that's super popular and it's, and it's great. And it's just on, on the weekends, you should see the, the people here just waiting for, to, to buy the fajitas, the cecina, the arrachera, everything. I mean, it's just uh, the costillitas, it's just, uh, it's just great. And, and it's, it goes back to like, this is the way I used to do it in Mexico. And we have customers from Central America, Mexico, and parts of Southern South America. But the majority of our customers are from Mexico. You know, so they'll bring in like the bread, bimbo bread. They know that from Mexico, you know, and we bring in, we bring in things that they know. Uh, we got a bakery. Um, you want to see it? Absolutely. Yes. So, this is the bolillos and bolillos and, and uh, so just think about that production. I mean, if you see, if you see the quality, the smell in this store is just super nice. Why? Because it's, you're getting fresh product. It does. Um, it's been great. It's been a great experience um, coming from Mexico uh, to a different country, right? You always have a dream and like, hey, you know what? I need to succeed in, in that country. I think I can do it in my country, but uh, if I try it somewhere else, I think I can do it. Why? Because if you work hard and you do your best, I think you, you'll be able to make it. 